Hello my gorgeous internet dwellers, how are we all doing today? My name of course is Matt from the MC Spectrum. Today I'm going to be telling you a bit about DayZ standalone and perhaps why it's not out yet. So of course if you're into DayZ you obviously know that they've been working on the standalone game for ages now. They've been trying to get it out of the mods and try and get the standalone into alpha. We were promised it Christmas 2012 originally. That didn't happen obviously as everyone must know by now. And so we were expecting it for June this year. We didn't get that. We then expected it for July this year. Again, we didn't get that. So people are wondering why it's not out yet. We have been promised at the moment August 2013. If it will come out or not, I don't know. I'm pretty confident it probably will though. So why, oh why has it not come out yet? That's what everyone wants to know. Well, Daisy Standalone is a very, very hard game to push through. As a mod, there was so many things wrong with it and people complained and, uh, well, the developers weren't happy with it either. Rocket, the lead developer of DayZ, wants to get it really, really yeah, perfect. He doesn't want to have it as bad as what he sees the mod as at the moment. He's simply not happy with it released in that state. He doesn't want to scam people giving them a crap game for all of their money. Obviously, he wants to get it as good as he can. And well, of course, it's getting fantastic. He's added so many awesome things, like the new loot tables. He's added in looting cars, and you can now loot in every single building. As of course, he's revamped the whole of the map, including Utez in the bottom part, as well as up north being completely redone. In Rocket's eyes, this game is simply not good enough to be released. Personally, I'd agree with him. I want it to be released as good as he can get it in Alpha. At the moment it is still in pre-alpha, and with people just keeping complaining about the pre-alpha, well, he's got no choice really to, but to keep adding things in. But then, there's these people who just keep whining on and on about DayZ, I want it now, I want this game, but what do you really want? Personally, I want to see a really good game. I'd agree with Rocket, I think he's doing the right thing. Some of his goals are trying to get this game to have that kind of RPG element that the mod had at the first stage. When people ran around being friendly towards each other, giving each other some love. Why does no one do this anymore? Daisy's a deathmatch, that's why. Bandits just go out to kill. And, well, Rocket, he wants to get this game to one of these RPG stages. Also, he wants to build this game as well as he can to run around mid-standard computing systems. It needs to be better optimised than Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead is at the moment. It doesn't run too well on lower standard systems. Most of all, he wants people to enjoy it. It might sound cliche, but what would you want? If you were developing a game, you'd want people to like it, wouldn't you? If you're giving them some bog-standard, cheap-ass game, they're not going to want to buy it. They're not going to want to play it. The mod, of course, people play. It's not as good as it could be, but that's what they want to play. They need to get it really, really good so people don't just say, oh, of course, it's just one of these crappy mod copies. I really, really want to love this game. I know it will be good. I trust Rocket to make a really good game. He developed the mod really, really well for what he could have done on such a badly optimised game. Another reason for its being late is the fact that Bohemia, the people who designed and brought you Armour 2 and Armour 2 OA, as well as Armour 3, have not invested well enough in this game. The staff behind Daisy Standalone are not as big as Armour 3, and Bohemia put all of their money possible into Armour 3, leaving Daisy Standalone with whatever they've got left. Bohemia are part to blame, but, I don't know, what good's it going to do blaming them? The fact of the matter is, the game's not out yet. Hopefully it will be soon though. Whew, <laughs> now I've had a bit of a rant, we can get on to some more news. Payday 2, in beta at the moment. If you had Payday the Heist originally, you will now of course have the beta free. If you've got the beta, play it right now. It's so, so good. I played it a lot with Sam, Connor and Jacob. We're leveling up and it's feeling really good. Great game, really well done, especially compared to the original Payday. Strong consideration to whether or not to buy that. Think I'm definitely going to get it though. Looking fantastic. Another game that I've been playing the hell out of is called Guns of Icarus. You may or may not have heard of this, but it's a fantastic game. What you do is basically fly around on teams, on airships, with different guns and things. You can repair your airships and try and destroy the other ones. Bit of an old game, played for a couple of weeks now. 
The game itself is actually a few years old now, but it's a pretty cool game. If you want to see some action on that kind of game, well, just let us know in the comments and we'll be sure to show you some of that. It's a cool game if you're looking for some quick action and some team play. And just to top it all off with, Sam and I, just saying, are going to Eurogamer. So if you want to check us out there, be sure to go along. We're going on the Sunday, very last day of the expo. All the games that are going to be shown there have been announced. These games include Battlefield 4. And also we're getting to see the Oculus Rift, which is going to be pretty cool. And yeah, guys, that's all for now. If you want to see some more, make sure to subscribe and also comment. Tell me what you want to be talking about. If there's anything you want to know a little bit more about, just chuck it in those comments. I'll be sure to go research it and bring you back some information and try and make sure that we can find out as much as we can and see lots about this game. Be sure to give me a fantastic thumbing with that big like button if you enjoyed this video and maybe hit us up a favourite if you really, really liked it. And until next time, guys, my name has been Matt from the MC Spectrum and I'll see you later.